guys, my name is Velma Perez and welcome back to my channel. Hey guys, so in today's video, we're back with the chisme, with the drama. Um, so I'm going to be recording part two of baby mama drama story that I recently uploaded. Like I can tell you guys liked it a lot, so I'm excited. I have makeup on my shirt, ignore that. So I'm excited that you guys actually asked in the comments down below for part two. So that is what I'm here to do and let's just go ahead and get straight into it. Because the last video, I know it was 53 minutes. I'm really sorry about that, but um, there's a lot of a lot of tea, a lot of drama. Okay, so I ended the video at her saying that her brother or her sister were gonna bring her to our hometown so that she could get the kids, and um, and it shows that I let her FaceTime at some point with the kids, and then October 4th came along. And that was a Friday and it was 2.49 and she says, hey, we're about to head out. And she said, I will be there like 30 minutes earlier. And so I said, okay. And then she says, okay, it's just I get worried about traffic. About traffic. And I said, okay, we will be here. And she's like, the salon, right? Oh my God. And I said, yes, he wants to know what car you will be in so he can send them out. Because he didn't want to go, he didn't want to see her. So she said, we're in, we're in, a, in a Jetta. Like, I won't say the color, but... And then I said, do you think 4.30 or more like 5? Because I'm pretty sure I remember we were, like, at the park or doing something. And then she says, the GPS is 49 minutes. And I said, okay. And then she texts and says that she's here. So I remember at this point, like, he... We did have the kids um, ready to go. I was with a client. I was doing lashes. And he was there and he didn't go out. He sent the kids out and like our salon front is like full open like a lot of windows so you can see exactly what's going on. And we have like um we have transparent curtains so you can see right through. So I believe it was her and her sister that got off and um they got the kids and then my husband or someone mentioned something about a car seat and I text um my husband told me to text her to see if Malia, the little one, had a car seat because she's tiny. And we don't go anywhere without the car seat. That's just our role, you know? Well, as a parent, it should be your role. But um, she's like, no, I don't. And I think I text her. Yeah, hold on. Yeah. And look, okay. Here comes back to the messages. I said, he wants you to get her a car seat. It's not safe. He wants to make sure you have one. He's upset about that. And she says... She has a booster seat, excl exclamation mark. And I said, he wants a picture of it. You need to go to Walmart and buy her one now. We're like kind of mad about this. And then she, we had a missed call from her. And I said, now or I will, oh yeah, so this was my husband. He told me to text her. He says, now or I will call the cops to see the baby. To see the baby, it's not safe. Something like that. And she said, I don't have service. And... Uh, we continued you need to go buy one now there's Walmart here in town and so finally well, she sends a picture sorry about the dirty phone she sends a picture with Malia in clearly a booster seat not a freaking car seat and I text her and said she needs a car seat not a booster you knew that go get one at Walmart now or you can bring them back and she says I'll take Andrew I'll take Andrew's one. He has an extra one. It's at my house. But her house is like two hours away. Like, man. And then um, we said, nope, here. You're not driving with Malia like that. It's a far drive. There's a Walmart here. And she says, I'm already on the highway. I'm going to get one. I'm on all back roads. He text her and he says, there's no back roads that take you there. I'm not stupid. There's only Highway 76. It's not safe for her to be in a booster seat knowing you were coming for her. She needed a car seat. She said, we will go get one here in Morgan. Or he said, here in Morgan, she's not going over there like that. And she said, we are. And then he said, you are what? Getting a car seat here in Morgan? I need to see that you bought it here or you can bring them back. Question mark, question mark. Did you buy it? Question mark. And then she says, we are going to Fort Morgan to get one now. And he said, barely, because I think at this point they had been gone a little bit. And he said, don't lie, dude. You should have been there by now. She said, we had to turn around, dude. I'll send you a picture when we get one. <laughs> and then um, he said, I told you the minute you left to go buy her one, and you didn't. So if I find out you drove her like that without a car seat, I swear you are not, you're not allowed to get them again. You're putting her in risk. And then she sends a picture of Walmart. Oh, my God. <laughs> 
and then he sees need to see the car seat send a pic of it when you have it and and all of a sudden bam car seat so she got her car seat he said they need to go to sleep soon they have a bedtime she says oh yeah this was later in the afternoon it was 8 10 and he told her that and um she said we laying down now and then we'll let i told her because i don't think i had my phone at this point i said we'll let him know and then i said how are the kids i think this was yeah the next day on october 5th we asked how are the kids she says they're good just went to carter's and got jay some clothes and malia a little necklace how does she need a necklace for and she sent a picture of them all extra excited <laughs> and then i said what time would you be here this is the next day um and then she says we're leaving at six here and then he says i told you they they need to be here by 4 30 you can't comply to that then i don't want you to see them that was our agreement and she says you didn't say 4 30 when when then he said if you can't do that then i don't see this going anywhere that simple she says i'll leave here as soon as gabe gets here that's her new man and then he said you need to bring them now and she says okay i'll get their stuff ready and he says as long as it's before bedtime i told him it's fine this was me at this point and then she says if i leave as soon as gabe gets here they will be home before bedtime and i said he said okay where am i taking them our house where the fuck else would you take our children and she says okay and then she says on her way and then she says we will be there at 6 30. and she says thank you for letting me have them i'll get them the weekend i get back from texas so then i said now they don't want to be here because you put stuff in their head and this was my husband and she said i didn't even say anything to them they are sad that i'm leaving and so i guess this was um the oldest one he came to us and told us that she was talking with somebody about fighting for us for fighting for them and fighting to take custody full custody when of course like you guys know from the other video that's not her intention to take them so it's really sad to like plant that in a little boy's head or even let him overhear conversations and our rule like on the phone was to not let them hear anything like just shut up don't talk about it enjoy your kids the one and a half days that you have them and that's it and she couldn't comply like she couldn't do it and she said how is it cool for you to be gone for a year and now you want to be in their lives again what the fuck like you don't even know what we've been through with them and you come and now everything's so cool and she said she said don't start this you knew they were going to be sad that i was going to leave <laughs> yes i was gone for a while i get it a while is like a week not a year but i really want to try and see them i am not putting anything in their head they miss me there's nothing wrong with kids missing their mother that wasn't our point like if any she's just stupid like that's and then we said they haven't even asked for you when you were gone now you show up like nothing has happened how fucking unfair is that bullshit and this is my husband he's talking out of anger because he from the beginning does not want her to see them like he feels like she doesn't deserve it and that's his opinion then she says it's not unfair it's not unfair we agreed on me seeing them on the weekends i am trying to work on being there yes i have been absent i get it i told the kids that i will see them on the weekends and that they are in a happy home and their stepmom and dad and to not cry i told them i'm sorry i haven't been there but i am gonna see them every weekend that's all i said half the time they were busy playing with their cousins and having a good weekend like also he got upset that like busy like and then he said, don't be smoking around my kids too. They smell. I've told you that. And they did smell like smoke. So she says, what the F? Like WTF. I am pregnant. I don't smoke. We've been with Matt and Neri all weekend. And this is Matt's car. We've been in all weekend. And he said, they're saying you're going to come get them this weekend too. So she says, no, I told them I leave for Texas. And the weekend I get back, I'll get them. You guys know that. And then I said, I could think I was like tired of it. I said, this is Velma now, and we do know that, we do know that, but the kids told him this weekend. So next time, just try to explain to them so that they understand. He already is so against you seeing them. So I don't know, this whole thing won't be easy. And then she says, okay, I will explain it better next time. I'm sorry, I thought I explained it. Yes, he is against it, I can tell, and I won't, and it won't be easy, but sometimes things like this aren't easy. <laughs> so she called, and... We called and she never answered. We called twice and we told her, Malia keeps crying for you. 
because it was 8.40 at night. And then we called her again, nothing. And then she finally answered and she was like, hey, sorry, I was eating dinner. And we called again. I don't know. And then um, we called for 33 seconds. I don't remember the conversation. And then we said, fight in court like you say. You can see them then. At this point, we were like done with it. My husband got really mad and he was like, you're not going to see them again. She's like, we agreed on the weekends. And then he said, after a year that you let them hear that, after a year and you let them hear that. So no, fight in court to see them. Agreement said it's not to not mess with their minds and already I tried. And then she said, I didn't mess with their heads. JJ, JJ said he wants to live with me. I said he can't, that's all. Like, I'm pretty sure they didn't have that conversation. And then she said, you're messing with their heads because they see me one weekend then not see me. Wait, 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 wait. I forgot about that. They see me one weekend and not see me. And she's saying that we're messing with her head when she didn't even want to have them on the 4th. She wanted to get them on the 16th after she came back from her trip. Okay? And then she came for one weekend and then she went to, to go have a trip. So what do you mean we're messing with their heads? Okay. And then we said, why are you blaming me for you not being in their lives? Or that's what we said. Then, then, then not see you for coming next weekend, right? Yeah, wrong. I don't know. I don't get what I was saying. She says, Louise, I don't got time to talk bad about you to my kids. Never have, never will. I told them I wasn't in their life because I was choosing bad things. I'm coming to get them the weekend I get back from Texas and it will continue. And he said, it won't, so good try. She's like, it won't, question mark, question mark. And then we said, just send court papers and we can settle it there. JJ would, wouldn't just talk about it, so you had to ask him. You're not allowed to come anymore. I tried, not going to go through this every weekend. And then she said, you already sent me court papers. I didn't ask him anything at all half the time he was doing his own thing. Also, like, half the time he was doing his own thing, why? Like, if you have not seen him for a year, he should have been with you the whole time. But anyway... And then every weekend I'll get the kids. That was the agreement. Kids are going to say things. They are kids. And then we said, you won't see, you won't see you in court. She said, wow, this is ridiculous. So one weekend they see me, then they don't. And again, the weekend that they see her, it was her choice to go on vacation. So shut the fuck up. And then she said, have fun messing with them. We had such a good weekend. They got to see their brother, went shopping, went to the park with their cousins, whatever. Then if that is how you how you're gonna be then fine see you in court, court Luis conversation is over done arguing constantly and I said wow for the or I think this was him wow for the first for the fucking first time in a year you do some nice things you're the best mother in the world fuck that it gets like we start fighting where were you when we were homeless I know it gets bad house to house when I didn't have money to support them huh but now you're the best thing that happened to them and not and not even that but you put shit in their heads what they're gonna come back to you that they're gonna come back to you they weren't like that they were so fine before you came back and got them and now we took a step back with them again because you showed up like nothing happened in a whole year now you are pregnant again so you feel guilty like I say focus on your other kids you got and we take care of ours they're good they got everything they need not just close on weekends or weekends and she says not arguing at all with you have a great night and he goes on and he says we can buy them clothes too and shit but that doesn't make us the best parents in the world we actually spend time with them i spank them because i love them you you're not going to see them of course you don't have time to talk about your kids i don't show them drugs or they meet a new person every year they settle they're settled now and i haven't gotten pregnant i haven't got pregnant with different people and you show them that new guys every time what happened with Derek, huh? You loved Derek. That's what they said. Why can't I fucking read today? That's what they said. So now you do that to them. Who is who is fucking with their heads? Because she was just... Anyway, and then she sends a, a message saying, I never said I was the best parent. I do time... I do have time to talk... Time to talk about my kids, but all you do is argue. You are never civil about anything and quit. And quite frankly, it's getting annoying. How am I fucking with their heads? A new guy every year. I was with Derek for three years and that and that's it. They were never around guys, dude. What the F says? And I don't know why the love Derek 
what why they love Derek what the fuck I don't even talk to Derek I yes I got pregnant okay shit happens when she said that we were like we know exactly where your mindset is like you're just straight stupid girl and then um, it's not like I planned on having any more kids exactly if you have three kids in this world right now all three of them you have lost custody custody of and you're pregnant like no oh my god this is far from the kids my kids never seen drugs I never showed them drugs I swear you say the dumbest shit in the world and then he said I'm done my point is you're unfit go take care of other stuff my kids are good you have two kids to take care of so she has the little boy Andrew that she lost but she does get like weekends or something and then the the baby that she's pregnant with and then she says I ain't arguing if we can't be civil then we don't need to talk because in court we won't talk like this. The judge won't allow it. Far from far from unfit. Maybe eight months ago, yeah. I got a good job. I pay rent where I live, which she lives with her brother. I can finally afford things for me and my kids and getting a car tomorrow. And they are my kids too. Yeah, I'm done. See you in court. And then he says, mine are good with me always or something. And then she says, and they will be upset that they don't see me anymore. No, 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 girl. They never mentioned you again. But anyway, and then he says, paying rent means living in your own apartment, not someone else's. You overcome that, then we can talk. Like we were basically wanting her to get her own home because um, I guess apparently like her brother doesn't want the kids there. That's what happened in the past. And for some reason he allowed it again, so. She's like, dude, you have always lived with other people. Like, seriously, I have an apartment. I live with Gabe. I stay at Matt's when I have houses to clean. Something, I don't know. And then he says, we'll wait for the subpoena to see you in court. And she says, ridiculous, goodbye. He gives her a thumbs up and she gives him a thumbs up. And then October 7th came around. And then she says, can you tell the kids I love them? And I said, yes. And she says, thank you. And I said, they are out skating. I said, she said, okay, well, when they get home, give them kisses for me and tell them mama loves them. This. I said will do but and then she says thank you I said no problem and she gave me a thumbs up I fucking hate motherfucking thumbs up <laughs> um, and then she says not arguing but if the kids get upset I don't come get them when I get back from Texas please don't say I didn't show up please I want to come but don't want to argue with Luis anymore I said I will let him know working still and she said okay thank you and then I said, kids will be ready Friday. Like, I basically was like, no, you started this. Your ass begged. Your ass annoyed us. You're coming to get them Friday. Like, whether he said or not, like, you're coming and that's just it. And she says, okay, sounds good. And then she asked, meet halfway, question mark. This is what we were talking about. We were like, we're not going to do no halfway bullshit. Like, if you want to see your kids that we barely want you to see, you're going to come. Like, she says, I can't drive all the way there. Fucking what the fuck? I said, no, that wasn't the agreement. You are the one that wants to see them weekends. He does not want this. I'm over here convincing my husband to do what's right, but if you can't, let us know. And she says, no, I'll get them. That's fine. And so I sent a thumbs up, and she sent me a thumbs up. And then she said, we will come at 4.30. And I said, okay. And she says, she says, where am I meeting you guys? At the house. Where the fuck else? Where, where else? <laughs> And then she says, okay, and she says, we're on the way, and I said, okay. And she says, we're going to be there before 4.30. I said, okay, thumbs up. She said, here, I will get them, I, or I will get, I will tell them I'm at work. And she says, I got them. I said, okay. And then the next day I asked, how are the kids? And she says, they're good. We at the pumpkin patch with the family. And she said, okay. And I want to go back to where her little girl was crying. I forgot to mention that her mom was like, we're going to go to the pumpkin patch next weekend. So she got her all hyped. Like what four-year-old is not like all she did was scream bloody murder for like a pumpkin patch. Like that's all she did. And when I explained to her, we had already planned the pumpkin patch and we took beautiful family pictures. I'll try to insert them here. And she was over it. She never asked for her mom again. So just putting that out there, I mean... Kids like to do fun things and that's what she wanted so and then she messaged us and this is why it she only saw them two times <clears throat> she said so I have no way of getting the kids back at all I asked everyone and the Jetta is leaking transmission fluid bad so my brother won't let me use it we called her right away and right away we called her and when my husband when she answered the phone she was like don't worry about it. I figured it out. Like she figured it out and she brought them. So, um, 
she asked your house and then I said what time will you be here if it's past six then at your house if not the salon because I was working and she says um, or I told her we will be gone we will be home I meant she's like we're on the way and I said okay and I <clears throat> my husband like once she dropped him off he sent her a text he's like we at this point we were like you know what let's tell her this and he said you need to help us financial financially with them like seriously um, like you need to start sending money or something it's not fair that they just go with you and shit and that's it you have it so easy we don't we don't we don't that simple then she has the nerve to send the message saying this is where I I got mad she said they have what they need when they are with me why do I need to give you money mm. <laughs> child I'm just kidding girl like at first I I don't know I got offensive to this at the time my husband was between jobs so at this point I'm working two full-time jobs guys I'm paying everything I'm supporting her children which I have no problem doing it they're my children I'm supporting them but um, he called her right away like we had a minute conversation and I told her I'm like excuse me like how stupid like how disgusting that you think like that like how dare you even say that like I'm over here supporting your children like I yelled at her I told her something something and like just how what the fuck you know and yeah but like I'll read that again they have what they need when they are with me which was only this is the second time she picked him up why do I need to give you money why do I need to give you money why I have no idea and then he sends like a I'm done exclamation mark and then she sends a thumbs up and then he says okay and then I sent her a message because I was like pissed off I said so I try to get him to let you see your kids I do it's a fight always and that wasn't the right answer as a mother you shouldn't act like that you should definitely be helping him more but that's y'all's problem I said now he wants you out so feel proud that you lost the chance don't disrespect him the fact that you don't care is so childish lol thank god we don't depend on you I'm out as well because he had told her I'm done and I sent this message and then I said I am supporting them not him so the fact that you don't care girl bye that's what I told her and she says I'm not being disrespectful if he needs something for the kids I'll buy it for them I do care if there is something they need I will get it I haven't been disrespectful I am trying not to argue with you guys all we have done is argue and I mean like don't, why not just know that we are taking care of your children and you automatically help us out like that's so stupid and then I said you just told him for the two days that they were with you that they have what they need but that's okay no changing his mind it's one full day and a half also you were not even able to bring them back today you need to make sure you fix things be sh be for sure for sure that it works then try again with him I guess I can't be I ca it can't be a maybe he told you this from the beginning it's definitely not worth fighting for so we will just leave you alone thanks and then she says, I got it figured out for the out the kids got home. And yeah, I was saying when I have them, I will get the things they need. If they need clothes, shoes, anything, I'll get it and send it home with them. I have enjoyed them. We we all have fun together. Like it's been nice going back to how it used to be, but I can't keep arguing. That is all we have been doing. I have been following the agreement. Yeah, today was hard getting a ride because my car I used is messed up, but I got but I got it. But if Luis doesn't want me seeing them, then we gotta settle this in court. So we we aren't always arguing. And girl, we have been like begging her to take us to court. So shut up about court. Like just shut the fuck up. So I said, why haven't you taken him to court yet? Question mark. Like as a mom, you should have won this fight long ago. We are working on it on our half also. So don't worry about that. But I guess, yes, try harder maybe in court. And then we can go from there. And I sent her a thumbs up. And she says, because I try to avoid court, I always wanted to co-parent. Shut the fuck up with your co-ass parent. And she says, I try to avoid doing that, but okay. And I said, but you want your kids. And you throw court in his face always. So don't avoid it. We are saying go for it. That is what, that is what, if that's what you want to see them. If something, I don't know, I can't read. She says, I throw court in his face because he does it to me. I always want to see them. But me and Luis never had issues before and co-parented fine. It's not what I heard. And then I said, why, why are there no problems before? Why, um, 
he would take them to you and pick them up. Maybe that's why. And now it's different. She says, I would meet him if I, if need be. We just were better then. I don't have an issue getting them and dropping them off at all. We never argued like this. And that wasn't the truth. <laughs> I answered, I said, I don't know, but he doesn't want this anymore. He is done. So for your sake, go to court. We'll work better if y'all have it figured out. And she said, okay, then we will go to court. Then that's fine. Sent a thumbs up and she sends me a thumbs up. Then... So October 20th, he sent her a message and it says, it says, if you think you can handle being a parent, having, oh, being pregnant, having Andrew, have Malia and JJ in one house, he will give them to you. But they are going to be at sis sitters, at sitters, or, or at the sitters. You're going to beg me again to get them because I guess when they were with her, like, he has all the messages to prove like she would ask them like can you please come pick one of them up or can you please come get both of them like they're driving me crazy like she would say that so but and then he says but they are going to be at the sitters you're going to beg me again to get them you don't have a secure home for them they won't get the intention that they now have JJ will start failing in school do you think your man will handle four kids and support them and this is just like a simple young he looks innocent like just a young guy that got a girl pregnant and she has all this baggage. Like, do you think he wants to go from... Right now, at that point, they were, like, posting pictures at the at the Rockies game and, like, having doing fun things. Do you think he's going to just want to go from that to, like, bam, she has all four kids now? I don't think so. Like, he probably would get tired of it. And are they going to have their own rooms like they have here? Will y'all be at the soccer games and dance practice? If you can, you can take them. Think about all that. This is from him. And then she says, I have a home, I have a job, It's I'm off by three, so they wouldn't be with a sitter. And yes, it will be hard with all four kids, but I can do it. It's never easy ever at all, but you do the best you can always. And did it before. I doubt she's ever been with four kids before, so shut up. And then she says, but we need to go to court so we can all agree, because she knows. <laughs> we can all agree on things. It's the best to agree and have it all in paperwork so this doesn't always happen. I want to be in my kid's life. Yeah, I have felt a lot the past nine to ten months, and I accept that I have been a horrible mother, and I'm not proud of myself at all. I was worried about other shit, and that wasn't fair to my babies. I always want what's best for them, always. That is why I stick to the weekends because they are so good with you guys and JJ finally is doing good in school and I'm so happy that he is doing so much better. And then she says, oh, so then like that was the 20th, was it? Yeah, the 20th and then on the 24th, remember how she mentioned like, okay, when they're with me, like I'll buy what they need and when they're with you guys, you buy what they need. So at this point, it was school. At this point, I wanted school pictures and I paid for them with my money and JJ took school pictures and I posted one on my Facebook story and this is like a week later, she just says, can I have one? Question mark. <laughs> like girl, didn't you just say? And she says, I ignored her and it comes November 4th, like October 24th to November 4th, it's a little while. She says, How are, how's the kiddos? And then I ignored her and the next day I said, you know, please don't ask me about your kids. It gets annoying. I did all I could and you won. I convinced my husband to do the right thing. You got the chance to see them and then you fucked up. You kind of quit on them. Even though we told you not no to seeing them, you still, you still gave up. You chose not to ask about or for them. Those two visits had them act up so bad. JJ was perfect in school after so much work we put into him and now the school calls start because he is clearly confused and upset and I wrote her this message um, when JJ schools called and they were like he's getting in fights like it was just bad and I said yeah school calls start because he is clearly confused and upset you came in and messed with their poor little heads so please stop asking how they are you clearly see all that's going on I post all and see that they are doing great quit playing either fight for your kids in court which you won't because I have already had my kids with me or I would have already had my kids with me no matter what. I put that in like exclamation marks or something. I said, because this will be my last combo with you. So not worth the, the pain we see in them. Thanks. Don't worry about them. Just like I, just like those nine months, you didn't ask if they were even alive. And I put a little peace sign. And then she sent me a message and she says, I don't know how I messed with them. We all had a good time and a good weekend. 
good weekends when I had them. They were always in bed by 8, 8 or 8.30. I followed all the rules you guys told me. I didn't give up on them, but to stop the fighting, I just stopped getting them because I always, because it's always a fight. Oh, I will fight in court. I want to be able to see my kids without it being a fight. Like, bitch, go fucking to motherfucking court. Like, and then she says, but combo is done. So, and I said, think of it from a five to eight year, from a five to eight year old's view, you chose to see them every weekend. I said, every weekend. They never mentioned you. Now they expect to see you every weekend and you had problems every time. Then you stopped fighting for them. So you did give up on them. I said, you should have done that last year. I said, you should have done that last year, please. I'll talk. And that's all about the court. And I said, just don't message me at all or I will block you. Done with you. And fuck yeah, it's a fight, lol. So, so worth fighting. I would not let anyone get in my way, but that's just how I live my life. And I put a little by sign. And she says, okay then, whatever. It's always a fight with you. <laughs> I said, with me, I talk for my husband, for the kids, take care of, take care of, I don't know. So if, if you can't fight for them, it ain't worth it. The fuck is this supposed to be? Question mark. A walk in the park? I'm your ex's new wife. Do you want me to hold your hand and be nice to you? It, it will always be a fight with me. Just, just stay away. Don't message me again. You're not needed. And she put a thumbs up and I put a question mark. Oh no, like the next day or like a few days later, she sent me a thumbs up and I put a question mark and she said, sorry, my niece had my phone. And I said, no problem. And then, so the day JJ's birthday came along, JJ's birthday came along and I had planned this, well, we planned like a pizza party, um, a pizza hut with his friends and like we woke up and we were um, getting ready to go do all that. We went and like um, decorated the place, took... Um, I had a special like Fortnite cake made for the event and everything. So we were planning for that and at this point we haven't heard from her and I was kind of proud but I kind of felt sad. Like I woke up all emotional and I had her as a friend on Facebook so that I can kind of have like open communication which who cares. And I started seeing all her gender reveal. Like she was having a, she had a big old party gender reveal like pink this and blue decorations and like just a beautiful like party. That she had and she's there with her with her new boyfriend and like saying she her post said something about like I cannot wait to meet you baby girl like it's a girl and like we cannot wait to hold you in your arms and blah 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 all this so it like got to me and I posted on her timeline because she had posted a picture of when she got the kids like she's like oh look at I'm finally with my babies and um, a bunch of people commented saying like congratulations like you're such a great mother and she's like I know I'm gonna try so hard this time and blah 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 and Little do they know that like she gave up real quick, you know, nobody knows the real story And so I went on her Facebook I was being petty and I went on her Facebook and I posted like a bunch of shit I was like I was like by the way like it's your son's birthday today and you know he turns nine years old and he's gonna have an amazing party and blah 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 like I posted a lot of boys. I posted a bunch of things and she messaged me and she's like what the f is your problem dude question mark question mark question mark posting shit on my wall like how immature is that I don't know what the fuck your deal is at all and at this point like I was just mad I wanted to fight with her I said I can post what I want what's my deal lol really my deal is disgusting women like you I said I see him hurt and if he hurts, I hate all that hurts him. And this was JJ, like, um, and then I said, enjoy your day so you can block him. And I put a smiley face. She's like, get a fucking life, dude. Like, I haven't done shit to you at all. Yeah, he is hurt. We were fine when I had them on the weekends. You guys hurt him even more by not letting me see him. You think I want them hurt? No, I tried to see them and be there when I could. I don't even, like, feel like repeating myself, but... No, girl, you didn't try, like, you guys are hurting him. We hurt him even more. <gasps> this. And then I said, get a life. I said, get a life, question mark, question mark, LOL. You didn't come. You didn't ask, so shut the fuck up. And she said, stop fucking being immature. Like, posting shit is a little childish. And I said, I'm more mad that I was nice to your dumbass, that I actually made it happen and you got to see them, lol. Waste of my time. Childish? I said, you know nothing about children, lol. She's like, well, in court, it's not going to go your guy's way. 
I know nothing about children. Um, okay, lol. In court, it's not gonna go our way. Girl, bye. And then I said, lol, you know nothing because you have, you have something in your custody. It's not him. This is on me. So whatever. I go, I go, so whatever. I go, court, what court though? I go, that's last year's news. Calm down, lol. Court where though? Like I kept picking on her. I was like, court where though? <laughs> and then she, I said, you haven't given one penny and I work my ass off. Thanks to me, they have all and you're talking shit. I said, fuck off. And then she says, you think court is just going to hand them to you guys? Like, this is ridiculous that all you guys want to do is fight. Like, eventually we all need to co-parent. Like, shut the fuck up, bitch. Like, I leave you alone. You leave me alone. I'm not fighting with you. I'm not even talking shit at all, dude. And I said, if I want to be pissed, I will. Court, though, which one? Because, like, I was just... She's like, be, be pissed all you want, dude. And I said, because we don't have papers in our hands, which a mother that really wanted would have done that last year. So tell me something new. There will be no co-parent, co lol. Bye. Block me now. And then she's like, I'm done arguing with you. I said, there's no argument. All facts, lol. You messaged me. And she's like, and FYI, I did post, I did write a post for my son's birthday. Still, I've gone back and there's no post for JJ's birthday. Malia's birthday came and went. No post. None at all. And then I said, um, she said, yes, I messaged you because you got to post shit on my Facebook. Like, seriously, you guys are the ones who decided not to let me see my kids. Like, you guys are the ones that decided to not let me see my kids anymore. <laughs> and I was going to call my son as soon as I posted it, but you guys wouldn't let me talk to him. Facts. Yes, you're getting blocked. See you soon, sweetie. Get the fuck out of here. Um... She was not going to post anything. It was 1 p.m. That's why I was so pissed. I was like, what mother doesn't even try to call? Like, I didn't have her ass blocked. Like, how sad. I felt sad. And I said, we don't let you see your kid. I said, we don't let you see your kids. When the fuck have you asked? I said, what? So you can always have trouble getting here or possibly not getting them back? I go, get over it. You messed up. Hurry and block, please. LOL. I said, dumbass ho, go, go something, another, I don't know, some shit. <laughs> I was mad. She's like, you guys told me to stop coming. It was such an issue with Louise that I saw them. Why? Because they cry when I drop them off. Like, they're going to cry. They have always been like that when I drop them off. I never had an issue, but one time, and I got it figured out, and they were home. You act like it was an issue. Bis. And then I said, you guys, you guys, shut the fuck up with your bullshit. And she says, I never gave my kids away. I fucked up and I lost my kids. Same shit. You might as well have just given them away the day that you knew you fucked up. She's like, it's not like I wanted to give my kids away. I fucked up bad. I said, they don't ask for you anyway. LOL, calm down. Bye. Peace sign. She's like, fuck off, dude. Yeah, right. Because they seem pretty happy when they see me. And I'm like, LOL, okay. And then she, that was on November 10th. November 27th came along like weeks later. And she said, hey, so I know <sighs> I'm getting tired. Hopefully this isn't 53 minutes long. She says, hey, so I don't, so I know we don't, ugh. hey, so I know we don't all get along and we all have our own opinions on things, but I'm going to say I'm sorry for ever disrespecting you when you've done nothing but be there for my kids and stepped up when I failed to be a mother. And I truly know you do a lot for them. I have no right to be disrespectful to you or Luis. I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I know we will never get along but you are my kid's stepmom and I gotta respect that and I gotta respect that you as a person who has stepped up for my kids and I completely blocked her at this point I was like at this point I was like I don't want to hear it I don't want no god I'm sorry like I don't give a shit like step back step out of our lives and then um that was November 27 this was Thanksgiving okay a few days ago she messaged well she didn't message a few days ago I got a random message So November, December, January, like what, two months later, she just quit. She just disappeared, never asked for them. Well, I blocked her, but I don't know. She could have figured it out. So some random girl, like, tell me if you're married, like, you would not get married.